Here now in the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, we are in the city of Markov, and we kind of left the homie hanging in a really major way. We kind of sort of accidentally agreed to help someone kind of investigate a spooky house, and then we kind of just, they we let them go in by themselves. I kind of assume they're dead, but we should definitely check in on them. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that. Check this out. The House of Horrors. Tyrannus, a vigilant of Stendar, is investigating an old abandoned house in Markov. He believes it was once the site of Daedric worship. Search the abandoned house. So I didn't quite understand this before, but these Daedric folks are like little deities, right? So having completed the Thieves Guild quest line, we kind of know a little bit more about having met a Daedric. So we're in our Thieves Guild armor. We're here. You might notice we're short one Dova Bear, one Sophia. We've toned back the mods quite a bit. Sophia corrupted our save file in an absolutely major way. It has been a huge, huge issue on my end to try and get that back together. I've updated the episode one mod list to reflect that that was a mod that caused me problems. And um, I will continue to do that as I can. So we, we we have definitely scaled things quite a bit back. We still do have with us uh, Serana and the Reapers and I think Janessa as well. Is this a big fall? Oh boy. It kind of looks like a big fall, but... Uh... Nah, it's not bad. All right, there we go. Whoa. Hello, first person. Nice. Blood and silver. So we're going to make our way into the abandoned house here, the Pendulum House of Hoarders. And um, I got to tell you, it's not only not the House of Hoarders. Well, maybe it is. We haven't been in there yet. But I think I've messed up Serana's name more times than, than, than any other name in the entire series. Maybe... Just because she's been with us so long. Man, those eyes are so striking. All right, let's go. Let's go. Serena. Serana. All right. Abandoned house. The house of hoarders. Horkers. Hor horrors. Oh, my goodness. I quit. No wood rot on the furniture. Look. He's here. He's fine. Everything's all right. Someone's been here recently. But the people I ask say no one enters or leaves. Maybe there's a back door. Anyone here know about Wait, back doors? You hear that? No. Why is he so brave? Alright. Uh, I was going to do Elemental Burst, but maybe Vampiric Drain's the way to go. That's it's it. like... Something's inside the house. Come on. We're getting to the bottom of this. Tyrannus, I know you're kind of a monster hunter, but we could, like, no, walk. Here. I mean, there's nothing here but some smoky, spooky smoke. See if you can get it open. You sure about this, old boy? Mr. Vigilant? Alright. Requires key. This isn't an ordinary Daedra. We have to get help. What? Weak. He's weak. You're strong. Crush him. Should we crush him? You first. Come on. Let's go. No. <gasps> We're locked in. Kill him. Crush his bones. Tear at his flesh. Okay, this is kind of terrifying. You will kill. You will kill or you will die. I like how Janessa's like, nah, I've seen this before. I can't die here. Daedra has us. It's you or me. Guess it's you. Yes. Your reward is waiting for you, mortal. <laughs> He's carrying around a whole die. sack of flour? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Some pretty nice, nice gear he had on. Man. Like, this would have been nice to have right at the start. Mental note. Your reward is waiting, mortal, further down. Wow, this was a bit of a setup, huh? I knew this dude, I knew that, that yes, we left this. further into the bowels. Uh, spooky house voice. Uh, some people could just call it a basement, right? You know, not the bowels of the house, the abode. What are they shuffling here? Why is it so dark in here? Is there a spell we could cast? Like a candle spell. Ta-da! <laughs> so close. Your prize is waiting. You think we go down here, the house just crushes us? It's like, thanks, I was hungry. Delicious. Two for the price of one. Oh, no, check this out. You recognize the old spooky face? 
Sarah, you have one of these at your house. Look at this. Fool. Did you think Molek Baal, the Lord of Domination, would so easily reward you? I hadn't thought about it. What do you see from that little cage? Speak. Well, my candlelight's really bright in my face. Well, looks like there's an altar to my left, but I can't move my view. Yes, it's an altar. Men would come and sacrifice the wretched in my name. The weak would be punished by the strong. But a Daedric Lord has his enemies, and my rival Boethia had her priest desecrate the altar until you came. So where this is a revenge mission? You're worried about this boat here? Revenge? No. I want submission. I want the priest who did this to bend his knee and give me his soul. It's kind of a big ask. He comes by to perform Boethia's insulting rites at my altar, but he's been missing. Captured and bound, left to rot. Save him. Let him perform his rite one more time. And when he does, we will be waiting for him. Okay, so whoever's yawning back there? Serana? She's like, no, no, I've heard this before. Classic, what was his name? Uh, Moby Ball or something? Classic Moby Ball. He's always like getting, trying to get some vengeance. Yeah, my dad's got one of these. Always just ch chatting up a storm. Trying to, why is this house so tricky? Trying to get us to go ahead and murder someone. But we're vampires. We're always murdering people. Huh? No problem for us, mortals. So, I guess we'll just make our way out. Oh, man. Unceremonious. That's, that's the word right there I would use. I don't even think the Vigilants are a bad dude. Like, uh, they're probably pretty okay. How far away is this, homie? You think he's actually, like... Oh, no. He's in the Broken Tower of Redoubt? Ooh, let's jump to the stables, buy a horse, and I guess hoof it over there? Oh, man. I, I was not prepared for this. This is exciting. Who loves Skyrim? I love Skyrim. Look, check this out. We're gonna go all the way to... Ugh, Reapers. Oh, my goodness. Hey, man, can I buy a horse? Treat a horse well. Got one all saddled and ready to... Sound okay, sad. done. She's yours. Black, of Put course. the armor on. And... We'll just steal, whatever. Alright, 1,500 gold. Did he say, may the crags fail to trip my feet? Thank you. What a, what a lovely little saying, sir. Alright, we are going to make our way towards... The dude. We're gonna save him so we can kill him later. I mean, this seems like classic villain stuff. This is our villain arc, apparently. We get in charge of the Thieves' Guild, next thing you know, we're stomping through farmers' fields, we're saving people just so we can kill them ourselves. Oh, is that the Khajiit? Everything okay over here, old boy? Where are your favorite friends? Man, I hope my horse just, like, chills. Need something? Yeah, you doing okay, Rakuji? Speak. Kajit will listen. Man, she put her torch. All the sugars in the water turn sour. Oh, thank you. This one needs something. Yeah, she doesn't say anything else. There's a dragon in that direction, though. By the way, right here in the water, I don't know if I mentioned this. There's like a, a secret boat that you can you can get a bunch of gems from, and it like respawns weekly or something. It's kind of cool. Like, if you were just starting out and you're like, man, I need some money, you can just go pick up the gems and, like, come back in a week, pick them up again, and wait time or whatever. It's cool. All right. Whew. The Vigilant of Stendar dude is right, though. There was uh, something just terrible going on in that house. Apparently, one priest was mocking the altar of some other god's stuff, which, uh, 
A little bit of a classic prankster. Man, look at the moon rays coming through hot. I bet that 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 Khajiit was just, just out there just sur s s sipping on that moon sugar. We uh, are about to get jumped by the Forsworn. I kind of remember they're like very serious about their business in this little town over here. So let's see if we can't just sneak our way across. That's kind of a long way down with no way up. Question? Oh man, I just, I don't love the way the camera whips it. Oh, there it is. Got it. I like, I saw an angle, I just wasn't sure we could make it. We're kind of just dipping around that town on our left. We've been through it once or twice, I think, but it, it's got a lot of like, very angry of these Forsworn homies. I think we need to go further around. Maybe not. Skyrim hop. Oh, that's dismount. No, 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 no. We're just trying to... There it was. Ah, we had it. We had it. Yep. And up. All right, there it is. There it is. That's that's a good line. Hopefully, we're going up the right mountain to get to this guy. Oh, a little train clipping. We could have just followed the road. It's totally okay to follow the road. Should have just, just followed the road or uh, became a vampire at this point. You know what? Nobody's looking out here, right? That's the new plan. We are going to... Do this. And then... This looks natural. We'll do this. Yep, there we go. Dragon that. Okay, well, apparently my vampire thinks the sun is up because I've got blood speckles all over my screen. I think we need to go straight at that tower. Yeah, that does look like the trajectory. Interesting the Daedra dude's, like, their knowledge about things, right? He very clearly knew that... The, the priest that had been coming to insult his shrine just hadn't been here because he was tied out. These bandits are about to just poop their pants. They aren't ready for this. Who would be? What was that? What was that? Ambush. Bandits. She doesn't even know I'm here, so... I don't think they found me yet. <laughs> Vampires. Have some of that action. Is that a training dummy? Yeah, that's right. I think I'm trying to kill a training dummy. Just how that goes sometimes. Where are these dudes at? You think they're all in their tents hanging out? Oh, there they are by the fire. You never should have come here. Oh, there's a witch? She summoned in a frost at your neck? Forsworn Ravager. Right, you kill the spellcaster, they lose their spell. The rest of my squad's showing up. So uh, they're in some real trouble now. All right, here comes Janessa. We might need to get her some nicer gear. He <laughs> yields. <laughs> That's not something we do. We uh, we we do not accept your yielding. Who's this? Serana. All right. Yeah, this was a training dummy. A little embarrassing, but we we were fighting a training dummy, which uh, does happen from time to time. I mean, not too often, come on. What kind of self-respecting vampire lord fights a training dummy on purpose? None. The, the answer the answer is not. All right, let's go ahead and get our storm astronax ready to go. I think we'll just whip them out while we're coming up the steps. Who's there? Knock, knock. And then we're going to get the vampiric drain out. Delicious. Thank you. 
Thank you for your life force. Man, these Forsworn outfits are sweet. Like, I feel like maybe they're a little chilly, but like, darn. They are one with the wilds out here. All right, what are we doing? Are we going inside the tower, gang? All right, we've been sent on a rescue mission by not the nicest of dudes. Oh, it's a master lock? Ha ha. Is it now? Don't you know I'm the master of the Thieves' Guild? I've turned a thousand of these locks, 500 turns at a time. Ha, got it. Oh, this is some cramped close quarters. Oh, I'm expecting there to be more villainous, villainous folk up top. Maybe not, but maybe. At the very top, the villains live. No, it's just a uh, dead end. Okay, everyone turn back around. Dead end, dead end. Sorry, sorry. Oh, excuse me. Oh, man. Wonder why these four sworn dudes grabbed this dude, right? Kind of an odd series of events as... Like, is he valuable? Are they hungry? Are they cannibals? Are they gonna eat him? Like, why? You know, like, why this guy? What, what's his, uh... What's his mojo? Are we in the wrong tower? All of a sudden, I feel like we're in the wrong tower. It's very possible we are in the wrong tower. No, looks like we're in the right tower. Okay, we're in the wrong tower. Great news, we've just cleared out the Sundered Towers, but just across this way is the Broken Towers, and... You know what? It happens to the best of us. It's fine. You know what we love to do? We love to just hug our potent Storm Atronach. No, group hug, please. Everyone get up here. We're gonna fly over. I, like, I cannot believe we just cleared out the wrong tower. Obviously I can, because it just happened, and like, there's no wrong tower. There's only the tower you're at and the tower you want to be at. Okay, well, the other tower is kind of stumpy. Is I don't see it anywhere. Man, this looks like a great spot for a little sacrifice or a little little party. I mean, this is the party on the hill kind of place. Ooh, a deer. Yum. Delicious. Aha, it was kind of a little hidey tower. Oh, they're not ready. Knock, knock, vampires. Horsesworn ravagers. I'm not hiding. What are some other fun vampire powers we could do? Mm, nah, these ones work. <laughs> like, every time I hit them, it's just life stealing everything from them. Life blood absorb. Who's next? Hi, it's the vampires. Anybody home? Well, there's my squad rolling in heavy. The Reapress is here. All right, let's uh, untransform and get ourselves back together here on what is apparently the right tower this time. I think maybe this this definitely looks like the kind of tower you might actually hold someone in as it has doors and a ceiling, which is uh, probably a step in the right direction here. Okay. Oh, it's a load screen. Okay. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Doesn't see me yet. Doesn't see me yet. Ah, gosh, you saw me. What was that? Where'd you come from? This is this is our our vampire move. What it looks like from first person. Oh shoot! Look at his heart. Hey, everybody, move. He's got like a this brighter heart guy actually has a. A briar heart for his heart. You know what? Who would benefit from this dagger? Maybe so Janessa. Kind, you and I. I need to I'm trade to some you. things with you. Yeah, for sure, Janessa. If that is what you wish. Yeah, yeah. I think you like you've got a little iron dagger. Let me hook you up here. So here is a ebony dagger. You like that? And. I don't think she'll use this other stuff. Let's go. Yeah, look, she'll pull out the dagger now. Ebony dagger? Yeah, now we're talking. We need to hook her up with another. Okay, so. They have a shrine to Debella. Love to see it. Who doesn't love a little Debellian shrines? Anything else in here before we rescue this guy to kill this guy? That's right. That's the series of events. It's a rescue murder. You think it's a rescue? It's not. It's a rescue murder. All right, we're going to leave that stuff there for now. Hey, you want to get murdered in a different place, old boy? Logrith the Willful. He doesn't look like the cat wants to get murdered at all. 
Which sounds kind of normal, so we'll talk to him. You there? Are you here to kill me? Slay the mighty Logrove? While he sits tired and helpless. No, we're here to rescue you. Rescue? <laughs> no one knew where I was when I was taken. Who sent you? Do we persuade or intimidate? How about we... Intimidate him. Molag Ball. So, the king of corruption sends his messenger to challenge me. Very well. I will meet with Molag Ball, and I will venerate his altar in Boethia's name as I did before. Of course you will. Cut me loose, minion of the hated one. I need to get to Markarth. Oh, freedom. Now get out of my way. I have a task to attend to. Oh my goodness. Logroth the Willful here. He's really just gonna march all the way back there. Fully knowing. Um, Sarah, we can just uncrouch, girl. Like, uh, you know, it's okay. We're out of danger. Do you need something? Yeah, I mean, just trying to... Whatever. We'll let you do your thing. Were we not supposed to tell him who sent us? Because I, I kind of felt like by telling him it was more like Bull, it like more or less guaranteed he would go to like mock the guy. Mostly because his last name was The Willful. What are we doing in here? Why don't we just go all the way back? Vampires. Delicious. Oh, thank you. A Daedra Heart? Death Bell, Potion of Vigorous Stamina? Our kind of woman. Alright, let's go, let's go. Ah! Wow! These people are all over the place. Excuse me, this is Forsworn. Probably shouldn't have been fighting us. Alright, so she fights in one hand with a... They make their own arrows, though. That's cool. She fights in one hand with a dagger, and the other hand she kind of has a a sword. So we need to find another sword for her. Maybe another ebony one, or whatever this one is. Surprisingly large on the inside. Like, I feel like we maybe have gone underground at this point. Oh, somebody summoning in zombies. Wonder who that was. So that opens the Skyrim. What about this way, though? I think it, whoa! It gets kind of really big in here. Oh my goodness. This was unexpected. Surprise! Be surprised. Be very surprised. Yeah, I was not prepared for, like... This to be a giant, like, arena. Underground, under the tower. I mean, they really built it out. Yo. Relax, relax. Absolutely fantastic. Forsworn Sword. Look at this bad looking thing. Alright, nobody set off any of these booby traps. Alright, let's see what's going on down here. Hello! Kind of a weird dead end room. There's like another passageway down, but I think this. Does this really connect to Markov? The Force Swarm have absolutely tunneled all the way back in. Opens the Skyrim. Never mind. I was just gonna be shocked when it went under like 30 mountain ranges. Yeah, we're right where we were, just at the bottom. I mean, shockingly large in there. This Forsworn Axe looking just insane. Well, let's go back to the abandoned house. We are going to go back into the abandoned house and and just kill that guy. I mean, that's the big plan. Molag Ball's like, hey, so this dude shows up, he disrespects me. Uh, I need you just to absolutely cook his bacon. I hope this guy brought backup. Oh, look, here he is. 
Hi, right, Lowgrove. Oh, he's busy. Silly me. Wow. He's, like, possessed. With his need to, like... Started Boethia's calling? Ugh, find the shrine of Boethia. Maybe another time. He's, like, straight possessed with his need to come down here and just ritualize this site. And I'm just lost in all the worst ways in this house. It's like 50 turns. No way, he's going for it. Shall we become a vampire and just eat him? It'd be a little funny, wouldn't it? You lack power. You think you can best Boethia's faithful? Don't I have won quiet. this contest before. Ah, but I have my own champion this time, Logroff. Guess who? What? You? Mortal, I give you my mace in all its rusted spitefulness. Okay, thanks. Crush the spirit from Logroff's bones. Make him bend to me. Do we actually need to hit him with the mace? Oh, we do! Look at this thing! He gave us a beat em up stick. Hold on. I'm trying to get an angle on this mace. It's not a very friendly looking weapon. Hey, stupid! I'll never submit! Submit! Do, your Do it! Worst monster. Okay! Do your worst monster. Maybe we just talk him to death? Never ah. submit. No, he likes to talk. Do your worst monster. Ah. Do your worst monster. Why did he give us his mace? Do your worst monster. I'll ah! never submit. Yeah, I'm really not sure this is how this is supposed to go. Can we two hand swing this weapon now? Ah! Do your worst monster. Ah! Yeah, he's very convinced that he is not going to. What if we just uh, hit him like this? I'll never submit. I mean, that's big damage. Look at his health bar. <laughs> you mortals and your frail, limp, pathetic bodies. Try it again. Swing. No more. No more. I submit, more. I submit. You bend to me? Yes. You pledge your soul to me? The acoustics in here are fantastic. Yes. Serrano's like, I've seen this a thousand times. The weak and pitiful Boethia. Yes. You're mine now, Logroth. Kill him. Okay, no problem. Vampire drain. No. No. Delicious. The mace of Molek Bal. I give you its true power, mortal. What's the true power? When your enemies lie broken and bloody before you, know that I will be watching. Okay, thanks. Now, I have a soul in oblivion that needs claiming. Take care of the house while I'm gone. Oh, hey, we got a house too? <laughs> nice. Is this, ha is this maze any good? Weapons? There's 25 points of stamina damage. 25 points of magic damage. If the target dies within three seconds, fills a soul gem. That's not bad. It looks super spooky. I mean, it probably just kills things. Gonna have to show this one off to uh, Poppy Vampire. What's his name? Harkin. I mean, look at this base. We got a new toy. Check this out. All right, let's get out of here. We don't need that in our life. <laughs> no, seriously, Sarah's here like, no, no, I've seen the old spikes from the ground to the, yeah, I don't know, classic. And uh, he can keep his boots. We don't need those. All right, can we get out of here without making a wrong turn? Can it be done? Can we do it? How about that? 
Okay, slow and steady. Easy turns only. Easy turns only. Uh, there we go. So, I wonder if we can sleep in these beds. I mean, probably we shouldn't, but... 77 gold. Nice. Oh, we walked right past the bed. Obviously, we don't need a bed right now, but yeah, we can. Look at that. No consequences. Wow, look at that. I kind of wish there was like a blessing or a curse or something you'd pick up for sleeping in the bed, but like, this is a great little quest to have stumbled into, even if we didn't like pick it up early and it doesn't like change things for us now. But like, you could have gotten here really early on, ended up with like some pretty f good free gear. Not only that, not just like the good free gear, but in addition, we got like a house, a bed we could sleep in, some food, like, that was kind of wonderful. You might not remember, but when we walked in here, we witnessed a bit of a, a, con, a, a fight, a murder. And then there's a little homie kind of standing right here. He's like, hey, meet me at the spot in the time with the place. He just hands us off a note. And I was trying to figure out who he was. Because we've got a load of quests that we have just somehow picked up more of. So here it is. I've received the note from a man named Eltries and Markov. He wants me to meet him at the Shrine of Talos to talk about the incident at the marketplace. Go to the shrine. Where is it, though? It's in the city. The whole time it's been in the city. Are you kidding me? Are we just an absolute fool? This whole time they've, they've had the, I thought it was like some like super far away hard to get place. So we just never met him. And it's just in the city. We just never looked at our map. We're just too, too, too content to kind of wander around and see what's going on. How did we get to it? You think it's up there? It must be up there. So, the city of Markarth runs on the sweat from the the mines, the silver mines, run by the the slaves. I mean, this is a, just a brutal, brutal place. All right, open the shrine to Talos. Hello? Look at this. Oh. Uh. you, but you just had to go and cause trouble. Now we have to pin all these recent murders on you. What a terrible idea. Thonar's paying you to kill me? We have a nice arrangement in this city, and we're not letting you get in the way. What? Do you have a problem with that? Take it up with Madanak. I'm sure the king in rags and his forsworn would love to meet you. Wait, what? Now you're coming with us. It's a life sentence in Sidna Mine for you. Wait, what? You're not taking me alive. You never leave Markar. Who's there? Who's there? I mean, in close quarters like this? Serana just resummoned in. Resummoned in Eitri here. You have some plot armor? Why aren't you dying? Okay, so I found the... I found the quests in our completed quests. It says he's dead. I've been framed for his murder. I need to clear my name. My only option to clear my name is to let myself be imprisoned. So I need to go to the Shrine of Talos and let myself be imprisoned. So I don't know if we can do that anymore. Now I do have a spell that's supposed to like calm people down, but it's just not good enough. Only it's, it's only up to level 21. In the name of the yard, I'm ordering you to stand fast. Okay. You're making a mistake. You're the one who conspired with the Force Sword against Makarth. You're coming with me, murderer. You're making a mistake. You'll never see the sun again. No one escapes sitting in mine. No one. Okay, most jails allow you to serve time by sleeping in your bed. You can also try to escape. Your equipment can be found in a personal belonging chest in the jail. All right, prisoner. Eyes front. You're in Sidna Mine now, and we expect you to earn your keep. Not gonna happen. There's no rest in your hide in a cell in this prison. Here you work. You'll mine ore until you start throwing up silver bars. Yuck. You got it? No. Uh, we're deaf. Don't get smart with me. I'm in charge. You keep it up, I'll have your toes cut off. All right, open her up.
Now you, get down there. I was trying to pull my my weapons. I cannot. Nor can I rob her. I guess you live. I was just going to kill her. What's this? I can't even pick it up. This is kind of awkward. She's locked in. Oh no, we're locked in. All right. Well, this is not good. Man, look at these guards, dude. The new meat, so soft, tender. Yeah. What was it like killing your first one, huh? I'll tell you what. What was it like killing your first one, huh? I'm not a murderer, which is not true, but we're innocent. Liar. Oh. How long you been in here? Guards brought me in about 12 years ago. Was running a good group of bandits up until then. But these Forsworn, they're nothing like the men I cobbled together. They're real killers. Whoa. Why exactly are you here? Murder, banditry, assault, theft, and lollygagging. An orc got caught lollygagging. Who Until would, next time. Who would dare? Keep your hands to yourself. Nah, I'm gonna steal your key. When you're not looking. Yeah, we can dig his pants too. <laughs> yeah, you can keep those. Alright, we stole his key to his cell. Good for us. Whoop, we should talk to this guy. I left behind my daughter, Uale, when I was What are you in for, new blood? Nothing! I'm innocent! Innocent? So was I, for the first one. The other murders were all me, though. My advice? Serve your time at the pickaxe and get out. You don't want to end up getting a shiv in the guts over a bottle of skooma. Where are the guards? They come in here once a week to clean out the bodies, grab any ore we've mined, and beat down the troublemakers. That's the only time when we get food, too. And if there's not enough ore mined up, we don't get any. It's horrible. Where's Madanak? If you're asking, that means you're the new lifer. Tough luck, friend. Those guards sold you out, but good. No one talks to Madanak, I'm afraid. Not without getting past Borkle the Beast. No and problem. You don't want to talk to Borkle the Beast. We already talked to him. Tell me about Borgle. Madanok's guard. Big, even for an orc. Heard he ripped a man's arm off and beat him to death with it. He's old-fashioned like that. I'm a fan. All right, then. All right, then. So here's Borgle. We're just going to open the you door. Serve your time by digging. So dig. Ah, uh, we have successfully gotten past Borgle the Beast. Should we uh, drain him dry, too? Prison's not so bad. Less complaints when I kill people. You don't say. Yeah, I think I think this whole thing's horrible. I'm very against the whole slavery imprisonment thing. Like, just just really. really. Well, well, look at you. Your kinsmen have turned you into an animal, Nord. A wild beast caged up and left to go mad. We're here intentionally trying to see you. We actually spent half a half a grand to get here. Well, well, look at you. Your kinsmen have turned you into an animal, Nord. A wild beast caged up and left to go mad. So, my fellow beast, what do you want? Answers about the Forsworn? Revenge for trying to have you killed? You have a lot to answer for. Do I? What about you? What right did you have to meddle in my affairs? Kill my people. Was it worth it? Your truth? You're one of us now, you see? A slave. The boot of your kinsman stepping on your throat. Maybe if you understood that, I could help you. Explain. There's a man named Bregg inside these mines. Besides me, he's been here the longest. Tell him I sent you. Ask him why he's here. I want you to know how widespread the injustice of Markarth is. Tell me about Thonar. I had Markarth. My men and I drove the Nords out. We had won. So we thought. Retribution was swift. 
I was captured, quickly tried, and sentenced to death. But my execution never came. Zonar Silverblood stopped it. He wanted the Forsworn at his call, that I would point their rage at his enemies and spare his allies. And I have. Humiliating at first, but I knew he would let his guard down eventually, that he would come to trust I was under control. Tell me more about the Forsworn. This was our land. We were here first. Then the Nords came and put chains on us, forbid us from worshipping our gods. Some of us refused to bow. We knew the old ways would lead us back to having a kingdom of our own. That is who we are. The Forsworn. Criminals in our own lands, and we will cut a bloody hole into the Reach until we are free. To be clear here, this man here was actually the king of all the land we've just traveled in so far this episode. He was the king of the Reach, the leader of the Forsworn. And remember, it was Ulfric Stormcloak who was who was who was hired to come through here and take them out so that the the the, the Nords could like remember, take back these lands over. The Nords who locked you up. Yeah, man, we don't forget. Unlock requires key. Who do you think has the key? We can read his notes. It says, I promise you all we would escape together. I found a way. If I die before I can show it to you, then search the cells near my room. Use my key. There's a tunnel that leads into the city that you can use. Look at that. He's got a little skoom on him. Shiv. Love to see that. I'm trying to see empty barrel. Well, they say they're empty, but are they really? Come on. Allegedly empty chest, a bed we can't sleep in, maybe in the sacks. You're a slave. Just red like apple, a salt pile, tomates, tomato. Oh, uh, maybe he's got some money in there. Coin purse. Well, he stole his gold. We can harvest his rabbit. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure where he's hiding his little secret key, but apparently he's got a way to get out of here, which is really interesting. Uh, classic poop bucket. All right, let's go. Nasty. Just nasty, man. You serve your time by digging. So dig. Ah, chill out, bro. School think about it. I was thinking about it, but you're, uh, you've got nothing. Don't reach for a shiv skooma. Shiv and... around me or we'll both regret it. All right. Well, uh, we're a bit of a magician herself. Talk to me, Brag. What do you want? I'm digging to do. Madnag asked me to hear your story. My story, huh? Everyone in Sidna Mine has a tale. Let's hear yours first. When was the first time you felt chains around your wrists? I'm not telling you. Fine, don't tell me, but I know that look in your eyes. Someone who's faced death at the hands of the law. Do you have any family? Anyone waiting for you on the outside? Yes. I had a daughter once. She'd be 23 this year. Married to some hot-headed silver worker, or maybe on her own learning the herb trade. The Nords didn't care who was and who wasn't involved in the Forsworn Uprising. I had spoken to Modinac once. That was enough. But my little Aethra didn't want to see her papa leave her. She pleaded to the Jarl to take her instead. And after they made me watch as her head rolled off the block, they threw me in here anyway to dig up their silver. How long have you been here, Bragg? Long enough. So, is this revenge for you? I'm not, Modinac. I was never a leader of the Forsworn. The only anger I can justify is my own. But every family in the Reach has a story like mine. There are no innocent onlookers in this struggle, just the guilty and the dead. Bummer. My daughter is the one who needs your pity. I'm just a poor Forsworn whose only regret is not killing more Nords before I was locked up. Why don't... 
Why don't we just kill the guy who says he's got a key and leave? Like, why? Why do we need him? You know? You serve your time by digging. So dig. Like, is there any good reason to not just kill him on the spot? Why not just kill him? Right? Like, he's just sitting there writing. You're a... You're back. All right, I talked to Bragg. Yeah, imagine hearing a story like that over and over. Each time a different family. Each time a different injustice. Your meddling above ground reminded me of how removed I've been from the struggle. My men and I should be in the hills, fighting. So what's your plan? Spare me the speeches. Huh. You know, I'm almost beginning to like you. But you haven't earned your place out of here yet. Have you met Grisbar the Unlucky? He's rightly named, and he's also a thief. And a snitch. He's outlived his minor usefulness. Take care of him. And then we can leave Sidna Mine for good. So he wants us to go kill this guy. What if I just do this? Last mistake! Was Never it though? Come here. Oh, everybody knows he's dead. Well, we're just going to uh, sneak our way out if we can. I mean, everyone follow us. The uh, the doors are open. He's right. I mean, they they do have a tunnel just to make their way right out. But where does this come out under? Like, that's kind of the big question in my head. Well, we're going to, I guess, just head on out. Kind of an odd series of events. And burst. For one spot, it's good to be a mage. I kind of thought there'd be, like, somebody down here. Apparently not really. Completely unguarded? Un... I mean... I got Markov as kind of a bad place running on, like, slave labor and... How does this quest end? Right? Like, the Forsworn... Really got a raw deal. Basically, they lost the war and were punished, you know? But, like, the guards are dirty. Yeah, you need the, the Madanak guy's key to get out. That was... My eyes inside Sidna mine tell me that Madanak is dead. Yes, you they are. great service to the Silver Blood family. I've had the Jarl officially pardon you and take care of a few other loose ends. <laughs> it was you and your thugs that had me arrested in the first place, Thonar. You've proven that was the best move I could have made. Don't give me that look. You're free to go. Here, how about a little token for your efforts? My family's ring and all the things the guards confiscated from you when you were jailed. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to figure out how we're going to fill our recently emptied mine. Recently empty mine. Did everyone escape with me? I didn't see anyone, but... Oh, sneaky boys, that actually is how the quest ended for us. We... We escaped. Wait, what does the ring do? Maybe it's a good ring. There it is. Weapon and armor can be improved 15% better. That's actually a really good ring. Wow, look at that. That's fantastic. Very impressive. Well, we'll hold on to that. Maybe that was worth it then. I think we're still going to wear a ring of magic. Magic recovery, right? 100% faster. But maybe we... I mean, maybe we sided with the wrong side. You know, ethically, morally, whatever. But darn if we didn't come out ahead on that one. A sweet ring to Smith. I guess we did lead the prison break. I mean, maybe when... And maybe everyone escaped. Look at that. It comes literally... He knew all about it. It comes out right there. Like, trying to find. If we just turn left here and then turn left again, this is the Jarl's palace here. Right here, right through those doors. I mean, the, the exit to their prison that one of their, like, 
chief enemies had a key to is literally literally right next to everything i mean that's absolutely just bonkers but it does kind of feel good to like oh you consider yourself lucky how about you consider yourself lucky as uh Always sneaking about. Oh my goodness, get out of my case, case of rock man. Joint once. Othella and the Hag's Q are fixed me right up. It does feel nice to be here in Markov and have like those two quests checked off as they've been kind of in the back of my mind, like, hey, we saw that murder in the market when we walked in, but then like we kind of like left and didn't like check in on the market, you know? And then we also like uh, left that dude in the house and I, I just we kind of got swept up in the thieves guild quest line and I, I, I didn't feel good that we had kind of left that dude the homie in the house but I kind of feel worse now because we killed him and then we killed someone else like the house turned from a house of horror to a house of just murder like it just in a bad bad way